So a lot of times people these days are talking about how they're coaches. And I'm all for that. I mean, we all need coaches in life, right? Someone who's gonna be a truth teller, someone who's gonna call us out, someone who's gonna show us our blind spots. But you know what's interesting? Many, many times it's coaches who don't have coaches. Think about that for a moment. They're positioning themselves, they're posturing themselves as a coach. But then when you say, hey, who's coaching you? Sometimes you hear crickets. <laughs> now, just this last year, I basically entered a highly, highly uh, selective coaching program. And so much so that just being straight up with you, just being real, I kind of felt like, gee, I shouldn't belong. And I like that. In fact, I haven't uh, felt fear like that in, in a long time. But it was great. It was absolutely fantastic because here's what it did. It put me in the shoes of many of my clients. You know what I'm saying? See, so many times we think that, well, I've achieved, I've arrived, I'm gonna insulate, isolate, I'm gonna position myself with being stay safe and stable. But in reality, safe, stable, isolation, insulation, it's slow death. And as a result, when you are slowly dying, you know what, you don't have anything else to give other people. You've basically checked out. And as a result, the value that you're gonna be giving to your clients has an expiration on it. It has a time limit. It has uh, basically a, a countdown uh, timer where, you know what, it's, it's, it's only a short season before you are irrelevant. We need to constantly be growing. And so I wanna challenge you, if you're a coach, who's coaching you? If you are positioning yourself as a truth teller for other people, who's speaking life into you? And it's fun. It is fun to be out on the edge. It's fun to be fearful. People say all the time, I'm afraid. You know, all my clients say, hey, I'm afraid. I'm working on this book and I'm really scared. And what will people think? And I say, you know what? Fear is the only way to be. Fear is your brain and your body saying you've never been here before. And isn't that a good thing to never have been here before? I mean, what do you want to do? You want to go around the same path, the same process over and over again? You don't. You want to be experiencing, uh, experiencing new opportunities, new adventures, new influences. So this is Carrie Oberbrunner. Be a soul on fire and invite truth tellers into your own life. See ya.